Hello. Mi querida clase, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Welcome to Tuesday. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Bienvenidos. Come on, bienvenidos. How's everybody doing? How was your day today? Fine, teacher, very well. Nice, nice to hear that. It's always good. How many of you guys have Netflix? I mean, show of hands or say it. Say, yeah, me. How many of you guys have Netflix? Yeah, I am not. No, no, okay. It's okay, Gretel, it's okay. Uh, la, la razón que les pregunto es porque lo acabo de comprar y estoy vendiendo ahí. No, no, mentiras, son mentiras. Uh, este teacher todo lo vende, van a pensar ahí. No, 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 son bromas. Um, I, what I wanted to say is that there's, there's some really good Christmas movies. Like, I, I, I had never put attention to the Christmas movies on Netflix until today. And let me tell you that there's some really good ones. So if you guys like Christmas movies, but de los gringos, verdad? Eh, <laughs> then I recommend if you have a friend or if you have somebody that can lend you Netflix, if you guys don't have it yet, uh, you know, I really recommend it. There's a lot of them and they're really nice. They're really, they're, I, I want to say that they're cute, right? But you know, they are, they're, they're, they're really cute. So uh, recommendation, I saw it today and you know, just an FYI. I want to welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, everybody that came in. Welcome to class. Now, we are on week three, and we are on day number two. That means that we have two more days this week, and we go into our final week. So I wanted to make this day our platform day. And also to review, also to, review. To, review to review some of, I wanna say some of the lessons, but I wanna go, I think a little bit more into the sections themselves. And so I have prepared for you guys a little bit of presentation. Okay. And hopefully we can do a review. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but we have covered a lot of information. And so I'm going to show it to you guys in the slides in the PowerPoint. And you guys are going to see how much stuff we have covered. Um, for today, we do, I, all I wanted to do was the review. So I wanted to review uh, the section four and we can stop in any knowledge check that you guys might have problems with and then we can kind of do a review on that. Uh, let me go ahead and okay. I, I don't think I, okay, let me see. I'm not presenting, right? Can you guys see my screen? No, no, you guys can't. Okay, let me go ahead and do that. Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome to class. I was reminding everybody that we are on week three, day number two. Week three, yeah. day number two. Here we go. All right, now you guys can see it, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Let me go ahead and make it a little bit larger here. And you can hear me, Tisha. So, yeah, I can hear you, Angel. I can hear you. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I think so. I Found that you don't hear me. <laughs> no, no, we okay. could hear, we could hear you. Yeah. I think I, I thought that you were just testing your microphone. You know, I thought that you were just like, oh, test, test, one, two, one, two. Okay. Oh, and make it the same. <laughs> right, right. Well, we got you. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I, th I think that's it. I think we're we're gonna get started. Okay. So now that I'm presenting. I really, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I really like the activity that we did for the midterm. And I don't know, that was me personally. I thought that we were able to get a little bit done. And I think for the people that had like maybe questions about the midterm, or maybe they felt like a little 
you know, ansiedad with the test, I think it helped out, you know, everybody, everybody, everybody across the board came out a winner here. And so remember, December 19th is not the last day for the course. Yeah. When is the last day for the course? Who remembers? December. December 10th. December 10th. December 10th. That is correct. So please remember that all the activities in the platform have to be completed by December 10th. Ojo, no se vayan a quedar, okay. como, como todo buen salvadoreño, no, no, te, todavía tengo una semana, hombre. Tuesday. <laughs> right? Please, 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 don't, don't forget to do this. Uh, so what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you guys how simple it is to go through the section and go through the different activities. And then once again, we're going to stop at the knowledge check and review some of these. Okay? All right. So okay. very simple. You look for the section that you're in. In this particular case, our section is section four. And then we start off with the lesson objective. And so these are the easiest ones. Super fácil. Really easy. Because all you have to do is read. That's it. In yeah. this class, you will be exposed to an audio where examples of past, present, and future tenses are used. That's it. En esta clase escucharán un audio donde estarán expuestos a evidenciar ejemplos usando diferentes tiempos verbales, tales como pasado, presente y futuro. ¿Eh? Y luego vienes tú y le das next. Ah, súper fácil. Aquí está mi amiga, aquí está mi compañera. Y estos videos, aunque yo se los estoy mostrando, ustedes no lo pueden escuchar. So I, I'm sorry about that. Pero la idea es que ustedes... ¿Verdad que no escucharon? ¿La escucharon a ella? No. Sí, un no, 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 no. No, I can't hear it. Creo que si se puede oír, se escucha bien, bien lejos. Pero, pero la mayoría no lo podemos escuchar. So, en esta... Lo que comienza es una conversación entre Tanya y Matt. And as you guys can see here, this neighbor sure has changed. Comienza ahí la Tanya. Y viene el Matt y le contesta, I know, a few years ago, not many people lived here, y so on and so forth, ¿verdad? Tú tienes que ver el video. You have to look at it completely so that you guys get credit for it. Once you have completed the video, you move to the next portion. Same thing. At the end of the class, you will be able to describe events using time contrast between the past, the present, and future. And then you click next. And here we are. Here on this video, they talk about the contrast. They talk about the contrast and the time contrast. If you guys want to discuss for example, something that happened in 19, I don't know, 1997, okay? You can also do things like a few years ago. And so this one here focuses on past, present, and future. And it tells you how to say things if you wanna talk about the past, if you wanna say something about the present. And if you want to say something about the future, and you can see the format here. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. When? When is that going to happen? In the future, right? All right. So once you guys watch the video, you click next. And you come into the knowledge check. Now, with this one, match the phrases with the appropriate information and then they start off with before the automobile before the automobile and then you have a list of items before the automobile people used to shop at small stores pollution is becoming a serious problem most people are going to work at home people didn't travel as much from city to city 
there will probably be cities in Spain. People work more than 40 hours a week. People play the first game of golf. Doctors might find a cure for common cold. And so you look at all of these and then you think to yourself, well, which one sounds better? Before the automobile pollution. Didn't travel. Which one? People didn't travel. I like that one. People didn't travel as much from city to city. Okay. And then you continue. Before there were supermarkets and you do the same thing. About 500 years ago, and then you select the correct one and you go all the way to the bottom. As you can see, this one has eight. I only completed one. Oh, I can't even press submit yet. Okay. Yeah, it'll be this. Yeah, I think I you have to. Be. Yeah, we have to do all of them. Okay, so let me just leave this one. And then this one sounds pretty good. And I, I'm feeling really good about this one. I think this one is correct. Um, we're going to leave the other one blank because I can't do the submit on it, right? But if you guys have any questions, please let us know. Uh, we have the WhatsApp group, or you can reach uh, me at my WhatsApp, and you can send me a personal one. Now, I, I want to apologize if, I, if, if you guys have sent me a message and I haven't been able to answer. Um, I've had to do a, a little bit of driving. Um, I've been doing uh, you know, a second job, actually a second and third job. So it's been a very, very busy day. And sometimes I am driving and you know they tell you don't text and drive. So if I don't answer, it's because I'm either driving or you know, I don't want to take out my cell phone in public. Uh, no sé, yo, yo me siento mal sacar mi iPhone 12XS Plus Plus, ¿verdad? Eh, Qué no, bárbaro. No, 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 me, no me gusta hacer que la gente se sienta mal. O sea, no, mentira. O sea, hello. No, no, o sea, hello. No, la, la mayoría, la mayor, yo creo que la mayoría de las veces es porque ando, eh, ando manejando. Entonces, uh, please, please bear with me. Uh, si no les contesto, por favor, no piensen que los estoy ignorando. Um, eventualmente cuando llegue a un punto donde les puedo escribir de regreso, yo, yo les mando uh, screenshots, yo les puedo mandar eh, las contestaciones. So, so keep that in mind, okay? So we have the knowledge check 4.4. And then once you complete it, you click submit, and the idea is to get them all right. You go next. Okay. And then once again, there's, a jump, there's another objective. The majority, I would say a hundred, I would say, yeah, I would say a hundred percent of the lessons come with an objective. In this class, you will notice and practice intonation and statement. And this is what we're going to do tomorrow, beginning with a time phrase. Also, at the end of the class, we will have time to practice and personalized phrases using different tenses. And so here is the intonation and statement with time phrases. Now, what we do is we're going to use the intonation in statements. More than likely, we probably won't use the time phrases as much. We're going to use a more general version. And here it is. You guys see that? So you have the rising intonation and you have the falling intonation. And so these are sentences where you have both. You have a rising and you have a falling. So three different types of intonation. The first one is to rise. The second one is to fall. And then the third one is actually a sentence that comes with both. And so the, these are examples. These are great examples of both intonations being on here. In the past, very few people use computers. Y, y como que se baja. Entonces, you go up and you go down. And then, so that's where we're going to work. I have a whole bunch of exercises for us. Okay. Once you watch the videos, you go next, and here we go. Section 4.7. And this one here is an audio exercise. You have to listen to the audio, and based on what you hear, you answer. Number one, and then you go and you answer here. Like, I don't know, I haven't heard this one here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna answer at the local. Families, cities. Oh, there's only three. Women, women, men, women. Okay. We can maximize the, the screen, please. Oh, my goodness. I, you can't even see. Look, look, I couldn't. Yeah. Oh. oh, look, Angel. I didn't answer any of them correctly because I didn't have time to listen to the audio. 
So look at okay. look at Angel. You don't want to see this. You don't want to see this, Angel. So this is wrong. So you know that number one has a wrong population is wrong. Number two, families is wrong. And number three, the cities are wrong. Okay. Once you complete it, hey, what do you do? You click next. Just just check in the first one, families. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the first one is oh, families? Okay. Yeah, families. Oh, really? Let me see. Do it's, not that I, no, it's not family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sorry, sorry. It's the environment. You know? <laughs> All right, let me get that one. Let me see. Environment. So, women, environment, and let's see. I guess. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. That's the, that's the one. Uh, that's the one. Uh, so, the so, one. so, what's number two? Second one was, I think, I think it was a. Families. And number two is transportation. Is, oh, which, yeah. What was it? Which one? The transportation. Two of transportation. Transportation? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see. Ah, there we go. And number three. And number three but is three. families. Families. No, population. 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 Family. I'm a, I'm gonna try family. This my family. It's family. Oh, oh my God! And you got population, population. <laughs> teacher, no le va a pasar. Teacher, no le va a pasar nada. No se preocupe. Population. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, teacher is dead somewhere. All right. Okay, so there it is, guys. Four point eight. That's the listening exercise. We go into lesson four point nine, and this this one goes back to conditional sentences with the if clause. And then so we come back to the clauses. Uh, in this particular one is if, the one that's being used. And then you get the video. Please remember you have to watch the whole video. I think, let me see, this one is, there's two minutes, it's two minutes. Watch the whole video and then you move to next. And you come to the knowledge, the knowledge check for point 11 and as you guys can see okay. you have to read the clause watch it i'm sorry match it with the appropriate consequence if you eat yeah. less junk food if you eat less junk food you may yeah. lose weight you might feel healthier you'll stay in shape without joining a gym you'll have more money to spend on yourself you won't be able to stay awake in class. And so I'm gonna say consequence would be losing weight, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. because the junk food, junk food all, okay. I think this one, no, this still doesn't let me, okay. Uh, if you walk to work every day, you know, I, I've heard that it, you, you get like energy and stuff. You mm -hmm. feel healthier. Yes. I'm, I'm going to say I feel healthier. Okay. If you don't get enough sleep, you mm -hmm. won't be able to stay awake. Okay. I heard somebody say it. Okay. I, I saw that one. All right. Let me see. Number four. If you exercise. Well, I don't know. Where do you exercise? Do you exercise in the street or in the gym? So I don't think that one. No, well, that one is, you may feel healthier. healthier. Yeah, you might feel healthier. Shooter. So there's yeah. one up here that I think, oh, oh my goodness, what happened? Hold so on, the other one? No, I, I, oh man. I just lost my, Hold on, let me see. I, I usually open these on in, incognito. Oh man. What happened to my screen? Now I have three I can't open or close. But I wasn't using the website. I was using the PowerPoint presentation. Oh my God, Hold, sorry guys. Well, you know, uh, I, the, who knows? Who can help me? I have two incognito windows I can't open. Is it this one? No. 
Sometimes happen with the platform make uh, make errors. Right? I don't know what happened, man. Right? It's only okay, let me go. So let now me go. Yeah. It will be happen. That was crazy. I, I didn't even touch my computer. I bet you if I put clothes, they're all gonna pop up and be like, oh, here we are. Okay. So I used to use regular computers, like, you know, like a regular PC that they call it with the windows. And then we started doing videos and photography and YouTube. And somebody oh. told me, somebody said, hey, why don't you switch over to an Apple? Because everything is easier there. So I did. We went to Apple. And guess what, guys? <laughs> it's not easy. Well, it's not, not easy. easy. It's, not, it's no. not easier. Look at even the keyboard looks weird. Watch it. Hold on. I was going to show you guys the keyboard, but my, I can't get Okay. The, so the, 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 the Opel is complicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very complicated. Very complicated. Okay. So we were in, let me see. Conditional sentences with the if clause. And that was the one. I think that was the video. Let me go ahead and go there. Hang tight, hang tight. Bear with me. Yeah, that's the one. And so you watch the video, you click next, you have the knowledge. This is the one that we were doing, right? So I guess, yeah. let's try it. Let's try this one's a little bit, this one's a little bit tricky. So. Uh, yeah. If you eat less junk food, what happens to you? You may lose weight, right? You may lose weight, okay. If you walk to work every day, what's going to happen to you? Uh, you can stay in shape without going to the gym. The third yeah. one. You'll stay in shape without, you know what? Yeah, I hadn't yeah. thought about that one. Okay, okay. If you don't get enough sleep, what happens to you? You won't be able to stay away. Okay. You're going to be knocking out. No, okay. no, no. No, no, no. Number three. No, no number three. Did no. I get it? Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry about that. No. There we go. Number three would be you won't be able to stay awake. Right? Okay. Number four, if you exercise, and if you're he healthier, you might feel if healthier. Healthy. Okay. If you don't get married, <laughs> you'll have more money. <laughs> you'll, have more money. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. you'll have more money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so for if you guys have not gotten to 4.11, if you eat less junk food, you may lose weight for number one. Number two, if you walk to work every day, you'll stay in shape without joining a gym. If you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay awake in class. If you exercise, you might feel healthier. And if you yeah. don't get married, Todo el pisto será tuyo. Nadie te lo quita. You don't show the money. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go over to 4.12. Uh, you will read an article about falling in love. The article about falling in love. As you read, you develop skills in reading for specific information. And so there's the article. Ahí está su teacher sin barba. A ver. Para que, para que me veas, Angel. Mira. Okay, okay. Check it out. Check it out. It didn't work. It didn't get any. There it is. There it is. So I'll give you a few. I'll give you two. No, this one has a lot, right? I'll give you three. Yeah. Is you younger? Very, very young. Y mucho más blanco. <laughs> Great. A ver, le voy a dar tres minutos para leer esto. Three minutes, guys. Three minutes. And then we'll come back okay. and we'll do the exercise. All right. Let me put my eyeglasses, cause. Okay. Let's try to make it bigger. Uh, this different, yeah. 
That's it. I maxed out. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's be very, very different. Running low is staying low. ¿Qué tal con el artículo? ¿Todo bien? Interesting, interesting. Yes. Very interesting, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Let me let me back out of this. Let me see how do I close it or what happened? Oh, that I see it was a different pop-up. There it is. So then you have the video for falling in love. Right? And you click next. Let's go to the answers. Let's check it out. Oh, no, that's it. There was nothing on there. There was no, let me see, let me go back. Maybe I don't want to miss a knowledge check. Yeah. No, 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 there was not. Reading is just a reading exercise. Oh, it's a reading exercise. Oh. Yeah, so that's that's good. So as you guys can see, section four is, is actually pretty, pretty, pretty nice, right? A couple of videos on there, a few knowledge checks, and of course the exercises that we're kind of following along with. And so for this one, let me see what I have for you guys. These are the time constants, time contrasts. Time contrasts. Uh -huh. Time contrasts. Uh, let me go ahead and move it more towards the center here. And we have past, present, and future. <laughs> and I want you guys to think when you guys talk about your past. How do you guys start that conversation? You know, how do you tell people what happened five years ago, a few years ago, or in 1997, 1991, 94, whatever, you know, whatever, whatever year you want to use. Well, it was very young. <laughs> when, when you were very young, right? It could be in the, the 80s. In the, <laughs> in, the, in the 80s. Yeah. So, Think of it like this. If you want to talk about the past, you have to use certain words, okay? So, you have a few years ago, not many people lived here. So, for example, I lived in Santa Tecla for a while 
I lived in a place called La Quesalca. I don't know if you guys, if you guys have ever heard oh, of it. Oh, uh, I know this. Okay. Yeah. That, was, that was 10 years ago, Angel. 10 years ago, I lived in La Quesalca. And I remember, you know, going on the bus or having to walk. And I didn't see that many cars. I didn't see that many people. It was actually pretty, pretty empty. It was a little bit scary at night. Yeah. Right? Because it was so dark and, and empty. And uh, how I, a lot of forest. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I had to go there the other day to drop something off. And I got off, uh, you know, I, I got off the, the highway and I went into the little street. And oh my God, I didn't recognize it. There were so many people. There were so many cars. There were so many people walking on the street. There was so much traffic that I was like, I was amazed. So this one here for me is very close because a few years ago in La Quesalte, there were not many people that were living there. Yeah. Right? So yeah. a few years ago, not many people lived here. Ahora, esto lo puedo decir si yo estuviera viviendo en La Quesalte or if I was physically there, I could say it like yeah. this, okay? Um, you can use it in terms of the country, right? You can use it in terms of the city. Uh, you can say San Salvador. A few years ago, not, not many people lived here, right? Uh, you can use it in terms of your colonia now. And so there's many ways of doing it, but if you see, it is not very specific. Now, I want you guys to think about something. When you guys use one, a couple, or a few, okay? So, if you guys are saying a year ago, okay? That, mis amigos queridos, that refers to one a year ago. That is 12 months. One year, not two, not three, yeah. not 17, right? It's one year ago. That's one. Okay? When you say a couple of years ago, what, what am I talking about when I say a couple of years ago? Two years. Two years. Two. Very specific. It's not three. A lot of people say, oh, a couple of years ago, three, four. No, 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 you, can, no. You, can't, you can't say a couple and then refer to three or four. No. no, 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 no. If you say a couple of years ago, it is two years. Yeah. Okay. You don't say a couple of people thinking that it's going to be <laughs> seven or eight. No, no, no. A couple of people literally means two, a couple, two. Yeah. Right. All right. If you want to say more than two years, then you say a, a few, few years yes, ago. ago. Because this is in reference to three plus. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's not two, definitely not one. It is three and above. So it can go from three to 17 years when you say a few years ago. So now, cuando alguien te dice a ti, oh, a year ago, no le preguntes, ¿cuándo? Nah, because that, <laughs> that is in reference, that is, un, that is a reference to one full year. So you should say that if we're talking about December, and in December I tell you a year ago, we are going to assume that all of this happened last December, which is the full 12 month cycle. Okay. Mm -hmm. If somebody tells you a couple of years ago, you should take two years and assume that two years is what we're talking about. Now, when somebody says a few years ago, you can say a few years. What do you mean? Like how many years ago did this happen? And then the person will come back and say, well, it happened four years ago, five years ago. All right. And then, so you might need clarification. You might need to clarify if 
you want to ensure the number of years. Okay? All right. So let's go back to this one. We could use people used to rent videotapes. When? When did that happen? In the past. A few years ago. A few years ago. Right, right. Now look at this one. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Mm -hmm. How many years yeah. ago? 50. Very specific, 50. right? You can also use it that way. You can say 10 years ago. You can say 15 years ago. You can say 50 years ago. Okay. Look at the okay. words that are, look at the words that are being used. Lived, used to, and walked. Walked. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the present, the now. You can say things like these days the population is growing so fast, right? Mm -hmm. We a lot of kids, a lot of kids, everybody. Today, people download movies online. Hmm? Is that true? Do you guys download movies? Yeah. Or do you just watch them on Netflix or... I, what, what do we have? Netflix, we have YouTube. Amazon oh, Video. We have Disney Plus. Yeah. Any of you guys have this, any, any of you guys got Disney Plus already? No, no, I don't got it. No, no, no. Okay. Just asking if you wanted to sell, you know. If you get it, I may vende un access point. <laughs> I want access right. point only for City Mandalorian. <laughs> that, yeah, the Mandalorian. Very good show. Very good show. Okay, you could say things like nowadays people drive their cars instead. Okay, and so look at the look at the way that we're using the words now. Is growing, download, drive. Okay, now we're going to talk about the future. What's the future like? Soon. You see that? You, you see how we start that? Soon, there will be yeah. apartment blocks everywhere. In a few years, in a few years, movie theaters might not exist. People are going to have self-driven cars in the future. So this one is a little bit more specific. Do you guys see that? So we have the past, we have the present, and we have the, the, we have the future. And these are time contrasts. Now, how does that work for us? Well, if we're talking about grammar focusing on time contrasts, we still get to use the past, present, and future. But it changes a little bit in the way we use, our, we use ourselves. For example, if we're talking about the past, you're going to have to say, I was. Okay? I was. In Brasileiro. Yeah. Portuguese guy. <laughs> In Brasileiro. All right. Let me, let me go ahead. So that. All right. So. I was for the past. If we're talking about the present, it is I am. And if we're talking about the future, I will be. So try repeating it to yourself. You guys don't have to put yourself on. You don't have to put your mic on. You can do it with the mic off. And just, just recite it to yourself. Just say it to yourself. I was. I am, I will be. Try it, try it. I was, I am, I will be. Okay. I was is the past, I am is the present or now, and I will be is the future. It hasn't happened yet. Okay. Now, you can get a little bit deeper into the tenses. For example, if you're talking about present continuous, it is happening now, but it continues temporarily. You can say, I have been. 
I have been. If it is a present perfect, which is started at a non-specific time in the past, and it continues to the present, then you could say, I have been. I was is the past, I am is the present, I will be is the future, present continuous, I have been, present perfect, I have been. Okay. All right. So some of the examples that we saw on the videos that you guys could see for yourself is for example if you want to go into the past present and future and i'm sorry it looks a little looks a little blurry okay past a few years ago not many people live here which is an example that we've been using people used to shop at grocery stores 50 years ago people walked everywhere present these days the population is growing so fast Today, people shop at supermarkets. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. And of course, we have the future of that. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. And so, past, present, and future. And here's a quick example. In the past, I used to wear tennis shoes and shorts. How many of you guys still wear tennis shoes and shorts? Mm, I love tennis shoes and shorts. Yeah, really comfortable. It's hot. It's hot in El Salvador. Yeah. You know, people don't understand that. Yeah. Okay. It's in the past. <laughs> Yeah, in the past, I used to wear tennis shoes and shorts. A few years ago, I was living in the USA. 10 years ago, I didn't have a car. In 2002, I started working in the high school. Okay, present. Nowadays, I wear casual clothes. In these days, I am living in Mexico. Now I have a new car. Today I am working in the high school and in the secondary. And of course the future. In the future, I'm going to wear formal clothes. In 10 more years, I will live in Europe. Soon I might buy a Ferrari. Como el teacher, mm. In five more <laughs> years, I will work at the Tecnológico de Monterrey. Oh. El Tecnológico de Monterrey. Okay? So here we are. Examples. Past tense, present, and future. Okay. So we're going to change it up. And I know that I think some of you guys might not be able to do it. But we're going to try it. We're going to try it anyways. All right. Let me see. Let me make it a little bit smaller here. The news. Okay, so when I share, it comes out to the side, but if I stop sharing, it stops. Okay, so this is what I want you guys to do. If you guys have access to your chat, hello. Okay, I want you guys to read the past tense. And I want you guys to select one of these past tenses. Let me make it a little bit larger. We're only doing past tense right now. And I want you guys to write a sentence using one of these formats. For example, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use one. Um, I am going to use, let me see here. Check, check it out. I'm going to use the chat and I'm going to put a 
few years ago, I visited Dominican Republic. And I'm going to send it. So I want you guys to fill, to create a sentence in chat in one of these past tense formats. I selected this one here, which is a few years ago, I was living in the USA. So instead of living, what I did is I used visit it. It's still in the past, a few years ago, I visited Dominican Republic. I'm sorry, it should be the Dominican Republic. But you guys get it, right? You guys get it. All right, so once you guys have completed the sentence, click send and I will be able to see it here. I don't think you guys can see it, but I can see it. So let's, well, before we get started, do you guys understand the exercise? What do you guys have to do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, si no les funciona el chat, we can practice it saying it, okay? All right, I'm gonna give you guys a minute and I want you guys to throw everything on the chat if you can. If not, hold off and then we can voice it out with the mic. All right, go. Try it out, everybody. I use the chat. You can use the chat, Angel. Yeah. Can you yeah, use yeah. the chat? Okay, yeah. If you can use the chat, go ahead and do it. Put the sentence together. All right, Gretel, I have one. A few years ago, I studied at high school and I did learn some English. Okay. I have Edgar around eight years ago. Okay, that was specific. Around eight years ago, I used to play soccer every day in the afternoon. Yeah. But then what happened, Edgar? The, the knees. La rodilla. Ah, me la la rodilla. Ya no puedo. No. Exactly, no, teacher. Exactly. Ya no, ya no se puede, ya no se puede. All right, I have here Xavier. When I was a kid, I used to play with cars. With It should be with toy cars. Yeah, I have a do. Okay. All right. Iris, a few years ago, I was living in Cojutepeque. Yeah. Now, whenever you guys have to say a city like Cojutepeque and you guys are speaking in English, don't, don't change it. Don't, don't say Cojutepeque, you know, to try to sound it. No, there's no need for that because it's a, it's a city and it's a city name. And so if you can say it in, 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 in you know, the, re the regular format, I recommend for you to, to keep it that way. So a few years ago, I was living in, and then right there we throw it, right? Cojutepeque. And, and you can say it and sound it like that. Yeah. I have Kenya. A few years ago, I used, so here it should be used to play. Now you got it. I saw that. Okay. I'm sorry about that. A few years ago, I used to play the violin. Okay. What happened, oh. Kenya? You don't play it anymore? You quit? You quit playing? Don't quit. I don't have time. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. Okay. Uh, let me see, Mariana, a few years ago, I started the university. Nice, nice. Remember, more than, more than three, right? More than three. Uh, Alex, in the past, I used to collect computer games. All right. What happened to the ones that you collected? Did you sell them off? Yeah, you... Yes, you know, I gave some of my friends and okay. some of my cousins. Yeah. Okay, all right. And then I see here, Joe, Joe Perez, a few years ago, I used to play video games. Oh, you stopped playing, Joe. Joe, don't, don't tell me you stopped. Mm. Don't give up on me. Don't. All right, Felipe, a few years ago, I was in a concert of the Angeles Azules in San Miguel City. Yeah, baby. Los Angeles Azules, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta do it, man. You gotta give it to them. All right, Mike, a few years ago, I went to Guatemala for vacations. Yeah, all right, so you guys get it. Okay, okay. Is, that, is there anybody missing on the chat? Does anybody wanna voice them out? 
or you guys got them on 10? We got them, right? Okay. I want to transition over to now. So what we're going to do is the same exercise, except now we're going to use the present. So I'm going to start off with, in these days, I am living in a popa city. Ahí <laughs> está. And there's mine right there. All right. I want you guys to choose a format for the sentence, and then I want you guys to put it on the chat and see how that turns out. Okay. In these days. All right. All right, we're, st we're starting. Xavier, today, I am playing video games with my friends. There we go, yeah. Got it, today, right now, right this minute, right? I am playing video games with my friends. What are you doing today? Well, you know what, today, I'm playing video games with my friends. You know, you could say it like that, very casually. Today, I'm working in my home. Yeah, that works. Today, you could also say I am working from home. You can say that I am working at home. So there's a couple of ways that you can say it, Iris. I'm working from home. I am working at home. And you can say I am working in my home. So well done. Mike, nowadays, I'm working from home. There we go. That's, that's the way you can do it like that. Today, I'm working like a salesman of used cars. Nice, Angel. Tirando ahí ya, quiere vender carro. El commercial. El commercial, y después ahí todo buscando al ángel. All right. Today... Anybody else? Anybody else? Any takers? Yeah, I got Alex. Nowadays, I drive. This one would be a Uber. Uber. Yeah, you have to a a Uber, or you can say a Uber driver. Nowadays, I am a Uber driver. Nowadays, I drive a Uber. Yeah, you could say. Today, I'm studying a major degree. Nice. All right. Yeah. In these days, I'm studying from my home. All right. Now, I'm in English class. Yeah. I had your... All right. <laughs> Good. You got it. You got it. Anybody else missing anybody? No, I think we're set, right? All right. Okay. So, we're going to continue with the tenses. The, actually, if you guys saw that, in section 4.0... Pretty much everything had to do with tenses. So let me go ahead and minimize this. Section four is right here. We start tomorrow again, and we're gonna keep on covering intonation and statements. And this is the one where I'm gonna ask you guys to do the sentences and you know, uh, do the little wave thing with your voice. So I'm gonna, gi I'm gonna give you back five minutes of your time. I know that all you guys want to go back to sleeping. And let me see here. I think that's pretty much it. All right. Remember, we have the WhatsApp group. Uh, mm -hmm. Any questions for any knowledge that you guys might have, please don't hesitate. Thank you guys for coming in tonight. Well, thank you, sir. Nice good seeing night. you guys. Hey, everyone. Have a good see night. See you tomorrow. Take care and see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody.